Records is a um, musician run record label and we organize concerts and release records and we call the rates with the. Uh, yeah. Running the label yeah. together. It's not like a static thing, it's like an organ, a living organism. Everybody knows a little bit about everything and different stuff, and uh, you can always ask people like how do you do this, how do you do this, and then somebody knows. Mm. So it's and a really can... nice, that, in that sense the collective also really works. I'm a part of part of Barefoot Records because uh, it's important for me to be a part of something bigger than just my own stuff. Um, you know, I think art cannot exist in a vacuum. Like it's. It always comes from somewhere, and being a part of a collective, a group of people who are creative, definitely helps me to be in the loop and stay, uh, stay curious in a way. And Sorry. also, you feel like it's it's an artistic movement. Uh, it's it's part of of trying to perhaps create. Uh, yeah, a better society or to give beautiful experiences to the people around you and, and you have someone who share this idea and, and way of living and, and passion in life. Hmm. Maybe it's also because I can be a perfectionist actually and what I like about improvised music that it kind of forces you to let that go and just uh, accept what happens in the moment. Uh, some people go for a run and I make improvising music or I play instead and it, I think it creates the same endorphins in your, in your body. I, I play improvised music because I just love sounds of all kinds. <laughs> all those parts it can be very serious it can be very funny it can be whatever you know whatever you want it to be really uh, and it should be that makes it more human and, and i think in a way it makes it more approachable because it is human you know it's like it's people telling stories But 
Bill Rodrigo started uh, the conservatory in Esbjerg, uh, on the west, western coast of Jutland. Uh, in 2006, we were a small group of students who wanted to release our music. I think the collective feeling of Barefoot Records is even stronger than it had been okay. before. We don't do the same thing maybe, but uh, to know that you are doing something gives me energy to do something else or do my own stuff. Even though you're not releasing music all the time, it's always good to have this uh, family uh, mm -hmm. of, of colleagues yeah. that you're kind of together with and it's, all, all, it's always there. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. If you need them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We dare to share some of our mm -hmm. ideas. Can, can you, is that a word? It's labeled or? Label, like label, we are a label, but it's not labelized. No, we're not like under this, um, what do you say, aesthetic ECM. pressure or nobody's telling us uh, it should sound like this or that. Uh, yeah. We can, it's totally up to us. And uh, I mean, even though it's mostly maybe centered around improvisation, there's also a lot of uh, written music in it. We maybe should remember also mm. uh, we all write compositions and we're all playing also in, in many different bands and we all we include all of this when we improvise and mm. it's not so interesting to perhaps label it as jazz or it's a good thing to listen to improvised music for just expand your ears yeah, and of so course, I mean, if you play for kids, kids love it, because everybody loves sounds. When you're listening, you know that everybody on the stage uh, is, is vulnerable and is actually, you know, daring to try something that they don't know what the outcome will be, but they're actually laying themselves bare in front of you. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't work, but it kind of means that when it does work, you actually, for me as a listener, I kind of treasure it more because I know that it's a, a, an amazing, you know, happening that probably will never be repeated. Actually, so that's that's special. <coughs> yeah. Sometimes you get further than you could have imagined, and I only got that playing improvised music and also listening. Like most of my biggest uh, concert experiences. We're also listening to improvised music.
nice uh, aspects of having your own venue during the jazz festival, I think as a collective or something, is to me anyway that you get to hear the other <laughs> people in the collective music and and you also feel in a very uh, natural way that you're part of an actual scene. You have the possibility to try out, you have like a scene to try out new stuff. It's a yeah way to also contribute to that part of the scene in Copenhagen for improvised and experimental music. Like the audience and the setting of mm. playing the concert and the sound mm. in the room and tells you more about your idea than you would be able to figure out sitting working on that idea yourself. yourself yeah. Yeah. I think I'm quite addicted to that yeah. feeling of discovering yeah. And like as a composer, maybe when you're making something, uh, the first kind of spark you get is a very special kind of uh, feeling that you're like, okay, this is coming from somewhere. And then almost when you write it down and then it's a, a, a defined version, it's kind of like you lose that magic because you don't get to experience that spark of newness uh, when you hear it played just as you've written. Whereas if you bring something that you've written to a group of improvisers then you can actually hear it being recomposed every time you play it and that gives you this excitement that you have as a composer when you write it first alone you know you get to experience it with others and they hear your idea in real time and and then they bring something to it that you never imagined but you know when you play with people that you like um, you you know that they're gonna bring something extra to the music that you could never have written actually if, if you really listen and if you take your time and concentrate, you can really get some really intense or really nice and unexpected experiences. And that's what I love about it. Music like, is music. Yeah. You should have a nerve and a heart, then it goes the right way. Yeah. <laughs>